Hey everyone, so this is a very quick video, just a recommendation and a suggestion that you kind of all do yourselves a favour. If you're looking for a good time and you're not quite sure where to go or what to do, go to the cinema and buy a ticket for Shane Black's The Nice Guys. I went to see it last night with Jackson, um, we caught a late showing, um, our sort of film started about 9pm, finished roughly around 11 I did actually turn to James as the credits started to roll and said to him, shall we look and see if there's another showing? Because I didn't want to leave the cinema. That film is that goddamn entertaining. The way I kind of described it to him um, as it was playing out in my mind was, it's basically if the, uh, the Zucker brothers who made things like Airplane and The Naked Gun remade LA Confidential on the set of Boogie Nights. That's to me is what The Nice Guys is. Ryan Gosling is a private investigator and Russell Crowe is a muscle for hire and they get caught up in this hunt for this girl called Amelia and it basically involves uh, the Los Angeles porno industry in the 70s. There's some stuff there about corrupt business practices. There's lots of stuff like that. It has a strong flavour of LA Confidential to it, to be honest, in my opinion at least, but um, the reason I reference the Zucker Brothers is because it's a very funny film by design and every gag and every bit of sharp, witty dialogue lands. This film is hilarious. I can't remember the last time I enjoyed myself so much. I loved Deadpool. Deadpool was a laugh. It was a riot. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed Civil War, obviously. Hate for Weight I found very entertaining. Nice Guys puts them all in the shade. I've not had so much fun in the cinema for a very, very long time. There are um, some key reasons why the film works, and a lot of them obviously hinge on the casting. Um, it's the best Russell Crowe performance there's been in years. He, he Again, he sort of resurrects a lot of Bud White from LA Confidential, even though he's obviously not a detective or anything like that. You know, he's... He, for the start of the movie, you know, he talks with his fists and he kicks the shit out of people, including Ryan Gosling. That's how they first meet. Um, but he's also, he actually has, there is a mind at work there. He's actually smarter than people give him credit for. And he, you know, gradually develops as an investigator as things goes on. Ryan Gosling is, you know, he's this cartoon character of a flare-wearing open collar popped sunglasses moustached 70s pi he looks like he could have been in like a exploitation film like dolomite or something in terms of physical comedy because the nice guys is a slapstick comedy by design ryan gosling has all these great ticks he has these vocal inflections he's got this really weird high-pitched scream his eye movement um the way he moves his arms and legs the way he runs and stuff it's all perfectly configured to play up the physical humour of the story. I can't remember the name of the girl who plays Ryan Gosling's daughter in it, but she is an astonishing actress. Uh, I think her name's Anna, Anna Reese Rice, something like that. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Um, she has that sort, of stereo, that sort of trope of being the smart child who sort of almost raises their parent. Um, it's just her and Ryan Gosling. Um, Holland March is his name. The mother's long gone. Um, he's a, you know, unrepentant alcoholic, but he's also a chancer, you know, he can do his job and earn money as a private investigator, but he's also kind, he's desperately incompetent. There's a hilarious scene where he tries to break into a pub, uh, into a bar, um, and he goes around the back and he tries to smash the window so that he can reach in and hit the latch, and all he ends up doing is severing an artery in his arm, and he, like, it literally just cuts from him bleeding and going, oh my God, this, you know, this was in the trailer. It's literally him in the back of an ambulance and the paramedic screaming that she's about to lose him. Loads of stuff like that. Um, it's something about Shane Black. I think I mentioned this in my Monster Squad review because um, he knows how to flesh out child characters and he knows how to work with child actors you know, he moves beyond the sort of stereotypes of, you know, they tend to be precocious and obnoxious and anything like that in equal measure. He actually creates believable characters who have motivations and dynamics which work very well and completely enrich the story. He does that with all of his characters. I mean, certainly in terms of the uh, leads and stuff, but I think it's quite 
how he deals with children in his films is very conspicuous and you know conspicuous in a very good way um and Anna East Rice is sublime. She's so good. I look forward to seeing what this girl's going to do in the future. And it just helps enhance the fact that The Nice Guys has a fantastic cast of top-notch actors. Fucking around. Because this is... This must have been so much fun to work on. Because the enjoyment just completely sort of leaps off of the screen. Um... I honestly don't know what is wrong with you if you go and see The Nice Guys and you do not walk out there with the biggest grin on your face. I've not had... It's just so fun. I really, really recommend it. Um, it also teaches you things. It teaches you a lot about bumblebees and um, the secret about cars in the 70s, which I didn't know. I need to ask my mum about that. But there is apparently a secret that the bumblebees all know about cars. Um... There's not much I want to say. Just please, 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 please go and see The Nice Guys. It would be a very good date movie. It would be a good movie to see on your own. Definitely a great movie to see with friends. So that's my recommendation. Please go and see The Nice Guys.